Hello all, welcome to the topic of electromagnetic circuit. In this topic, we will understand the use of delay in a circuit. Delay is used either at the start of a group or at the end of. Here, delay is used at the end of a group. So, record accordingly, we have two delays: this is switch on delay and switch off delay. So, here we will need a delay which will be used at the end of the group. So, we will use switch off delay or post delay. Delay can be pre delay or post delay. So, this is post operation delay. So, we will use a post delay. The purpose of delay is to hold a piston for some operation to be completed, like drilling, cutting, and so on, or to initiate the piston movement late. We have already understood A plus A minus circuit in the previous topic. Now, we will understand how to prolong the start of return stroke by use of delay. Here I have already drawn the pneumatic part of the circuit. The circuit is grouped as A plus delay, then group and then A minus. This part that is here to here is powered by solenoid Y1, whereas this part is powered or it will happen by the action of the spring. Now, to draw electromagnetic circuit, we will take a delay here. Let us connect this. We will name this as K1 relay and the delay time is 5 seconds. We will use a start button here push button will connect this to the circuit then at the end of the circuit a0 will be initially on so we will put a normally open contact which will name as a0 This contact is A0 and it is switch with the roll which is normally open. Since we want the next operation to start after first operation happens, so we will place here a normally close contact of A1. We can name this as A1 and it is also a switch with a roll. We will place a solenoid wall here. Let's connect it to the circuit and we will name it as Y1. This will be activated by the make contact of K1. So we will name this as contact K1 and connect it. K1 it is a limit switch. Now we will see how the circuit works. I will start the simulation here. When I press this button that time A0 is initially on so current will flow from here. This is normally close contact it is also allowing the current to flow and then cylinder is retracted. You we'll see it again. If I press this contact, now what is happening here? When this button is pressed, A0 which is normally on contact and since the selection cylinder is in retracted position, so A0 is initially on. A1 is normally close contact, so A1 is not in contact, so that's why this is normally closed. So the current is flowing from here to here to here and then relay K1 gets energized. When relay K1 gets uh, activated or energized that time Y1 gets charged. When Y1 gets charged this piston moves in forward direction. As soon as it's, it leaves the contact A0, this contact A0 and it touches A1 that time this contact opens. When this contact opens that time the connection to relay is stopped and then the relay starts counting the delay. After a delay of 5 seconds 
the relay gets deactivated and then this y1 solenoid gets discharged when the y1 solenoid gets discharged springs takes action and it returns back you will see it again now it has reached a1 this is taking relay time after that it is coming back to the own position now to make the circuit run continuously we will put a detent switch here so this is a detent switch and this will connect to the circuit So now we will start the simulation and once I press this, it is a detent type of switch which remains on for number of cycles. Now second cycle, third cycle and so on. This is for one operation and this is for control operation. Thank you.